to Gamer Gal Pals. I'm your host, Pia, and we just embarrassed ourselves at a party and had a really aggressive dream that, uh, that, um, May was feeling. Well, ah, that was a weird one. I feel awful. I probably look awful. Uh, I'm gonna burn this room down. With me in it. Live out my remaining days as a shrieking ghost. Yep. Thought, never drink again or go in public. <laughs> Become a fire ghost and yell at people. Good goals. Everything feels bad. Yeah, I, I would say everything feels bad too. Uh, that was an interesting dream, right? Technomology today. Economist Pete Curley. Job growth rebu rebust in low wages sector. So that's kind of a wash, I guess. I guess so. Shockle, make me feel better. Aww. Hey. Sorry about last night. I hope you're feeling okay. Um. Yep. I'm at the pickaxe all day. If you want to stop by. Hey, dude. You okay? You know, last night was pretty intense. Be said you're okay, but I'm at the snack falcon all day. Come by if you're not dead. Sincerely, goo wiggly. P.S. Band jam later, oh my god. The end. Oh wait, we should see if we can talk to Angus. Let's see if we can talk to Angus. This is Angus. No, apparently not. Angus doesn't want to talk to us. <sighs> yeah. Well, that was our life right then and there. Afternoon us. God, this thing is intense. Weird how big clocks are like luxury furniture now, since everything has a clock and internet on it. Like, having something big that only does one thing is like a statement or something. Did he move? No. Ugh. This is good music. Supper. This bookshelf is like the ghost of Granddad. Hanging out in the corner. Maybe not his ghost, like his skeleton. Ugh, okay. I just made myself sad. Why did I come over here? Oh, hmm. There's like something written inside this book cover. Left 45. Right 100. Left 22. Left 90. Left 15. Ah, oh, that's right. If you come and talk to the bookshelf all day... <laughs> talk to a bookshelf. You can't do that. Um... You will end up getting this. And this will be important for later. Is that like... What is this? Ah, granddad, come back to life. And she'll always... Oh, the floating islands and other stories. Granddad didn't read out of this. He like recited it from memory. And made up stuff on top of that to get me to sleep when I was a kid. Yes, he did. Floating island, jeez, I'm old. Aw, you know, uh, I, my grandpa never did that with me. Mostly because my grandpa on my dad's side was dead when I was born. Um, I think he died of cancer. Um, he was a smoker. Uh, he might have died of cancer or maybe Poor health. It's kind of funny he was a surgeon. Um. No, actually, that's not really funny. It's kind of sad. Um. And my other grandfather, uh, which we called Nono, which is Italian for grandpa. Um. He, uh. He didn't read to me either because, well, he was in Chile. He lived in Chile. Um. And, uh, only spoke Spanish. 
So even if he wanted to read to me, I don't know if I would have understood him. Who did read to me was my dad. <clears throat> and we read a whole bunch of books. May? Yeah? Come and say hi! Okay! <laughs> uh, the voices are the same. I'll always say hi to you. Even when you ask me not to. <sighs> the books that me and my dad read... You know what? Let's talk to Mom first. Hmm. Hey, honey. You look like crap. <laughs> yep. Rough night. No, just tired. Is it that obvious? Is it that obvious? No, I was just saying you look like crap because I love you. Thanks. I mean, she didn't have a very perky expression when she said that. Thanks. Hmm. If you want to talk about it, it's cool, Mom. I saw Cole at the party in the woods. Let's talk about it. Hmm. From senior year. Mm -mm. From senior year. Hmm. Mom should have her own voice. You know what? I don't care. No, I do care. Uh, yeah, he was home from school for the weekend. Well, did you talk to him? I don't really remember. Kind of. Sort of. I don't know. Well. Well, he's a jerk, huh? No, he's not. Or he wasn't. I don't know. Anyway. Looks like most of the repair workers have cleared out town center. <laughs> Town center? Is that what that is? Why do you put the E at the end? It doesn't... I'm bad at reading. I don't know if that's obvious. <laughs> I tend to reverse letters or words. Um... Finally. <laughs> yeah. They're all done with the Churchill steps. And the power lines. Great. Hun, I do not want you up on those things. Mom, I'm 20. Uh-huh. Which means you'll go to jail for it. No one's gonna jail me for running around power lines. Psh! They never catch me. Your Aunt Molly catches you up there. There's no telling what she'll do. Did I tell you I saw her yesterday out front? Really? Yeah, she was being all weird and cryptic. I don't know, everything's fuzzy today. And anyway, it's dangerous. You remember Susie... Uh, Kushner? Gee, Mom, I sure don't. I definitely never heard this story a thousand times. Right, honey. The paper used for the word... The paper used the word bride. Now, she can't use adjectives. She lost an entire part of her speech. Gee, Mom, that's terrible. See, that's the exact kind of sentence Susie can't formulate. So what are you up to today? I don't know. Gonna go see what Greg and B are up to. Are you all gonna do something together? I don't know. I don't think they hang out much. Past messing around with our old band equipment. Well, there are only so many hours and so many days in our lives. Is there some bug going around that makes people talk like fortune cookies? Friendships are like trees. Uh-huh. You have to water them so they grow. And each have only so much to water. Have you ever watered a tree? No. God does that. Okay, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Yes, yeah, she has more to say. Yes, kips. <laughs> oh, May, you're a treat. You're an absolute treat. So, May was saying earlier that the floating islands is something that her granddad used to tell her. The stories that me and my dad used to read were far and in between. We read The Secret Garden together. That was fun. Um, he, both of us read the... Tales of Unfortunate Events, Harry Potter series, Narnia. We read a lot of book series. Um, 
And uh, I would end up learning all these words and, uh, and different stuff. And we'd, uh, and he'd have me read and, uh, and he would read to me. And that's what I did, uh, growing up. Um, I feel a little bit sad we didn't get to read the final Harry Potter book together because, and well, I was a, a teenager then and, well, not a teenager, I was in college then. So... Reading it together would have been, I don't know, I, I felt it would have been weird, but I can tell that he wanted to like, finish it together. But I didn't do it because, you know, you don't always, uh, it doesn't happen anymore, you know? It's sad, but sometimes you stop doing things with your parents because you're just too old for it now. Oh, that's good water. Uh. Hmm. Things can't be like they always are, huh? <sighs> what else do you gotta say, Mom? What you reading? Book about a guy who grew up secretly living on a fishing ship. Living in a barrel. Eating raw fish. Crabs. Octopus, squid, lobster, gulls, albatross. I get it. Wow. I get it. The crews thought the boat was haunted. But nope. Just the Barrel Boy. What's the book called? Barrel Boy. <laughs> Oddly enough, I now want fish sticks. I know, right? I'll have your dad bring some home. You have anything else to say, Mom? You have a nice day, sweetie. Yeah, that's all she has to say. Oh, I didn't even notice this. Look at all this bird paraphernalia. And cat paraphernalia. Huh. Bless this mess. You know what that means, right, May? That means bless you. Because you're a mess. We're all a mess. And that's okay. Construction work is completely done, apparently. I wonder if there's any conversations that will happen if I go up here. Aha! Yes, there is! That's right. So, remember in the beginning of the game where they talked about that's when the big flood happened? This is her talking about the flood. When the flood happened that one year ago, this pole fell over and I was scared it somehow electrified the water all over the neighborhood and it stayed that way. And I was kind of afraid of taking a shower. Or turning on the faucet for weeks. After the flood, it lay after the flood it laid in our yard for two weeks. Like a big dead thing. But then they put it back up. And I could see it from my window at night. And it felt spooky for some reason. <laughs> spooky pole. Undead friend. Watching me from the curb. Ah, I love all the dialogue that May says, because it's just so delightful. Aha! Uh -huh. Look who's there! Hey, May! Hey, Summers! Did I see you with the journal the other day? Yeah, the doctor's orders. Yeah, Dr. Hank has me one, has me doing one too. Oh, okay, did you have anger problems too? I was stealing painkillers from the Ham Panther Pharmacy. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, Dr. Ann sees journals as a general cure-all. Is that working for you? Nope. Rehab and the program do, though. And I've become a very good poet. Wanna hear one? Yeah. Nah. Always say yes if you want this achievement. My heart is a dankness. But when I see you, I feel a thankness. Wow, that's really nice. When I feel a blueness, all I need is a you-ness. That's very romantic. It's about my horse. Oh, we're just friends. Selmers is a poet. 
So you see him right there? We can go do a thing. Ah! Ah! Jumping on the foot. No, not flagpoles. Jumping on wire poles. Like I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I probably don't, but that's alright. That's alright. I missed. <sighs> Let's just bounce up here again. I can do this. I swear to you. Ah! There we go. Boop. Hey there. May Borowski. May Borowski. You could have knocked on the door down there. Impolite to be on other people's roofs. Next time I'm gonna call the cops. Whatever. <laughs> At any rate, I'm glad you have accepted my invitation. What are you doing anyway? Hunting dusk stars. What's dust stars? Dust stars is the name of my of my shoegaze band. Really? No. It is music of looking at shoes. With a lot of reverb. Why are we talking about shoes? I forget. Want to have a look? Yeah. Maybe later. Yeah. Excellent. Holy crap, my eyes! Oh, you want to put the filter on like so. Jeez. The sun is bright. Make you blind. You didn't think to mention this? I just did! Anyway, just... Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! That, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this kind of thing. Where they're like... Ah. Feel the matrix! Feel the matrix! There it is! Found one! Let me have a look! Oh, cool. This one. Ah, yes! Daughter the murderer. Okay, I'm interested. Daughter. Mm -hmm. Daughter passed bear, bear in the king's prosecution. Procession? On the street. Daughter was quiet and said nothing. And the king took offense to this. Why? Jeez. So what happened? Bear him exalted daughter. Dora's family and Dora's village and so on, until he was down in to insulting Dora's chickens. Damn! Chickens are kind of awful. Damn, man! That's cold! How could you make fun of chickens? Nothing bad ever happens to chickens. And they never do anything bad. I should know. I saw chicken run. Ah! Daughter first murdered. <laughs> daughter. Door? Is it door or daughter? Daughter first murdered Baron's chickens. Then his ancestral village. And then his family. Holy crap! And when he came to Baron, the king was silent. I'm gonna get a tattoo of this guy. Is daughter a hero? Totally. I don't know. But it doesn't really matter, I think. If you've been told you're nothing before, a story like this sounds pretty okay. Well, it is a true story and real people died. And you should feel terrible. Seriously? <laughs> so there's one more. You usually can see two a day. Let's find it. And, and listen to this music. This is beautiful music. <gasps> Matrix? <laughs> Found one, I think. Let me have a look. Oh, this one. 
Ah, yes. Cast. Casties? Catties. I'm just gonna say casties. What's casties? This star tells the story of a woman who built a tower to him. And for this, the gods sunk her deep into the sea. Wow, that's screwed up. But even in the depths, she refused to die. Damn straight. Oh, will you never die as well? I guess someday. I don't know. Never! <laughs> Defy Cassius' gods also, will you? The gods in these stories are only standings for things we cannot control. You might say floods or the cancer or such. No to all of them. This is fair. I believe we have seen both stars visible today. Oh really? They come and go so fast. Oh my god, it's 21 minutes? Jesus! Ugh. That was pretty great! We can look again in two days time. Will you be back? Yeah, if I remember. Probably not. Yeah, if I remember. I'm always gonna check. Oh, you will be. No one can resist the stars forever. This is that spooky Mr. Chasokov. <laughs> And see, she like writes in her journal. She like fills it up. I don't know about you, but I, I like filling this shit up. Like, as much as I can. I just wanna die anywhere else. I'll be seeing you next in the next episode. Oh no, no. Goodbye, and I'll see you later. Goodbye, and I'll see you later. It's been around 22 minutes, so bye.